Every year, over 30,000 UK citizens fly over to Australia to live. Jordan Beckett and Daisy Bond are just two of the people who have made the journey over 15,000 kilometres to live in the land down under. What actually made you guys move to Australia in the first place? Me, Jordan. Yeah, I booked travelling a while ago and I just thought, yeah, we have to go travelling and Australia seemed nice and hot, so <laughs> this was the first place we are going to go to. As a kid, I always thought I would come to Australia purely because, I don't know, it's just always been one of them far away countries which never seems possible to go to, so I was like, I'm going to go there. I've always, well, I used to live here, so um, I've always said that I wanted to come back, so when me and Jordan met, that was kind of it. I was like, I'm coming with you. <laughs> and yeah, it's all good, so and here we are. How long have you both been in Australia for now? Come up to four months. Yeah. Come up to four months. Yeah. So not overly long, but a but good amount of time like to it. experience what we've done so far. Do you think that like the culture and the people are really different to what you would have expected it to be, or quite similar? Um, it's quite similar to the UK. Um, there's, there's parts of Australia like up, up in Cairns and stuff I find a bit different, and it's cool learning like about the Aboriginals and, and stuff over here. That was quite cool. But generically speaking, yeah, the the cultures are about the same, it's just a bit more relaxed here, I'd find, but culture is very similar. So what do you guys want to accomplish while you're in Australia? I think I want to accomplish just seeing different things I went to in the UK. Yeah. I think that's something for me, just want to do that and say I've done it. Definitely for me, stand on my two feet. Just not re like relying on people and same as Jordan, like experiencing new places and having all these stories to tell when you go back home. Have you guys been documenting your journey while you've been in Australia? Yeah, Jordan has. Yeah, since we've been over, I've been making videos um, on YouTube just to create memories and stuff and what we're doing. And also just, yeah, just make YouTube videos, which I like doing. Um, but yeah, trying to capture as much as we've been doing so far. Haven't done huge amounts because we've been working, but when we do travelling, I'll be sure to do probably one every day, I would have thought. So Daisy, um, what sort of challenges have you had since moving to Australia? Definitely being far away from home. Um, I say as I think I have quite a lot to people that do kind of ask me similar questions. Um, being so far away from them is difficult. Um, I'm such a homey person, so being so far away, that's my main challenge at the moment is, um, is missing home. I'm so, I'm like, yeah, like I said, I'm such a homey person, so I feel a bit homesick at the moment. So with some of the challenges that you've had while living in Australia, um, have you found that there's been any hardship trying to find like roommates and good roommates? I know that um, there's like a lot of programs online that you can find people to live with, but I guess sometimes it's sort of hard to find a good one. Yeah, we, um, we definitely had an experience with one. Um, so we did move in and we found one on this website called Flatmates. Um, really really handy really easy to use um so we did that and a girl approached us and yeah all, everything seemed fine and then moved in and we had a lot of difficult sort of situations with her didn't we mm. just with like financial things she kind of threw things back in our face but you know it just didn't work out and uh, we literally just packed our stuff in there like literally put our keys on the side and just went to even say goodbye or anything. It just got a bit nasty. What was the biggest thing that you've learnt since, you know, moving into this place compared to where you used to live? Yeah, so I think signing documents was the most important part of signing in here, purely because it's, you've got that financial backing, you've got a leg to stand on if anything does go mm -hmm. wrong. In the other place we didn't have that, so yeah, definitely signing documents is a lot better. That was probably the most important thing when moving in here for us. Although Daisy and Jordan have had a few forks in the road, they would definitely travel again if given the chance. So guys, thank you so much for watching that video. I really appreciate it. And I just want to say a massive thank you to Renee and everyone who was involved filming, writing and editing the video you just watched. I didn't do nothing, I was just purely part of it and I just want to say a massive thank you to them uh, for letting me use this video for my channel, it is greatly appreciated. So if you guys really did enjoy this video, um, show them some support and give it a massive thumbs up, leave a comment if you like this type of video, it is a bit different to what I normally upload, but as regards I've been working so much I haven't had time to, to upload anything at all, so it's so kind of them to let me use this video for my channel, um, so I just want to say a massive thank you to you and if you guys enjoyed it, yeah like I said, give it a thumbs up. I I have uh, purchased a Mavic Pro, a drone, so I will be doing a unboxing video very, very soon, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that, and I will get back to uploading some amazing travel videos very soon. Uh, we will be travelling in the next couple of months, 
So hopefully stick around, let's get them subs up and you guys can watch that. And I really hope to inspire you to travel. So as always, thank you so much guys and uh, I'll catch you soon. Bye.